Hi, Gemini. Welcome to your bonus read for the week. I'm going to be taking a look at the person on your mind and their true intentions for you. I'm going to start the reading off with a love oracle messages to look at the situation between you and this person. Then I'm going to jump into the tarot section of your reading and look at their true intentions for you. At the end of your reading, I'm going to pull some messages from the hidden truth oracle deck from this person of what they're holding back from telling you. Now, this is general. It may not resonate for everyone. If it does, go ahead and hit that like button. If you have haven't already subscribed to my channel so you never miss an upcoming read with that being said let's go ahead and jump right in show me the situation between Gemini and the person on their mind reconciliation. I know I'm quiet, but it's just because of what comes out in the situation between the two of you. So reconciliation finances and faded meeting at the bottom of the deck is going to be secret crush. Um, I'm seeing that one of you is attracted, maybe both of you, but wanting to reconcile because of financial reasons. And, um, it's a meant to be like, oh, this was fated to happen, which really doesn't feel very fated to happen. It just feels like the encounter of it's it's meant to be because blah, blah, blah. But material things and success really play a situation here. So this reconciliation, reunion, second chance, back together, I miss you. Maybe even you two have just kind of been separated, but it just really came out. I don't like all the gray in here because it just tells me like, you know, days feel gray and kind of foggy and not knowing what to do in this situation. Um, if you're having a hard time with finances, I'm really sorry about that. But I'm going to say, you know, you are very smart, Gemini, and y'all always find a way to get through financial means. You just, I don't know. I've never known a Gemini that doesn't know how to do that. But anyways, just because I've learned from so many Geminis, like, no, do this and that and the other. And you just got a lot of ambition here. Um, maybe this is also wanting to reconcile missing this person or you two missing each other because of um, wanting to, like you both love the ambitiousness within each other and it feels like you two could be a very powerful couple together. Some of you, this might not even be a love relationship, but more of like, I need this back because I need to be making money. Maybe it's a work situation for some of you, um, but reconciliation, finances, and faded meeting. Um, secret crush is this, the secret crush card kind of comes off to me as, well, I really like, you know, I admire, um, I'm attracted to your ambition. I'm attracted to your success. I'm attracted to your money because that's really what comes out here a lot. But let's go ahead and jump into the tarot section of the reading and look at this person's true intentions for you, Gemini, because it does feel like they are, they have like that, what is it? That shiny syndrome like they they see something that looks pretty and shiny and they're like "Ooh, i want that you know they like the material world maybe you're very successful or you're doing pretty good for yourself and this person might be struggling but don't allow that to be the reason that they come back okay um and they might actually be wanting you to help them out with some finances and if they do it's completely up to you which you know you're going to do just make sure you're making the right decision for yourself okay first and foremost so show me this person's true intentions for Gemini. It feels very short lived. I hate to say it that way. It's just the way they want to come back for a good time. Page of wands. They're going to reach out to you and it's convenient for them and have fun or whatever. But making things balance between the two of you, this temperance card comes out in a 50 50 energy. So it tells me that they're disrupting your balance more than anything. Um, I'm 
just going to put it upright, but remember that it did come out in a 50-50 energy because right here is that two of pentacles. You know, why are they wanting to come back? Maybe also because their life is out of balance and yours looks more balanced here with that two of pentacles being upright. Like, yeah, I want to make things right between the two of us because it's not. But once they do, look what happens and they leave. So that eight of cups right here. I maybe even you Gemini might recognize that this is not something that you wanted to happen after all that if you two reconcile you might get bored or you might decide this isn't the right kind of balance for you and what you once loved is not what you love anymore um, but let's take a look at this a little bit further because one of you will end up walking away from the other person and them being still like trying to figure things out for themselves and not having a grasp on really how to make things balanced within their life overall um and it's almost like they're grabbing onto you to keep their head above water and you can't be somebody's um what what are they called like a, a rescue device or life what is it? I always say like a lifesaver. Is that what it is? The little thing, the little buoy thing. Yeah. I'm like, whatever that little round donut thing is that they throw in the water, um, to help people. <laughs> so, um, you can't always be somebody's lifesaver in that way to pull them out of, you know, to keep them from treading water. You know, they have to learn to sink or swim. And I feel like this person really depends on you when they're with you wholeheartedly they're like you're my everything and i need you and it almost feels consuming um let's go ahead and clarify the page of wands and they're still young trying to figure things out and it's like a very short-lived kind of situation whoa yeah yeah they want to they're going to reach out to you wanting to surprise you and then start just texting you and messaging you and calling you constantly um the hangman is at the bottom of that. You might be the one in limbo like, whoa, what is going on? Expect this person to reach out to you because this page of wands is clarified by the tower, but there's also the eight of wands. So it's a disruption in what's happening in your life and it comes in really fast. If they haven't messaged you already, they're going to very soon. They've been thinking about things for a while. They have been in limbo about what they're going to say and now they're like, screw it, I'm just going to do it. So... I also see you looking at this and reflecting on how things are playing out that this person comes like why did they come back and you know why are they texting me and calling me and everything you're gonna have questions and suspicions and it's it's you know trust your intuition if something feels off with this person it probably is and you will find out later on or maybe not but you know things will unfold in time and um, just don't allow them to push you into a corner or anything like that. So let's go ahead and clarify the temperance card. That wheel of fortune comes out in a 50, 50 energy too. So this feels like a disruption, right? Their life, things aren't going the greatest in their life and where they might've had really good luck on their side, things are now changing. Um, doesn't say it's good or bad, but yeah, look, the devil's at the bottom of the deck. If you go back to this, it's like you two have this physical attraction for each other, or you have some kind of bond that's really unhealthy between the two of you. And it would be bringing back like a repetitive cycle of something that you're like, I didn't want this kind of karma, you know, and I, karma can be good or bad or whatever. Um, it's what we put out or what we accept back. And so if you open the door to somebody who didn't treat you right in the first place, or maybe things ended for a reason, um, always make sure you reflect on those things and look at why did things end? What was not going well? Why is this person coming back like this? But they, you know, they want to it's like they're not completely balanced in their life and they're wanting you to fix things for them. And so they do grab onto you and that devil is an attachment as well. They attach themselves to you and it does feel like it is also, like I said, with this finances coming out and money coming out a lot, they attach themselves to the material, to um, like... I'm going to say like gluttony, you know, overindulging in things and, and wanting to 
live a life that they don't have anymore or didn't don't have anymore because they're not with you this person really depends on you in that way like i need you to make things right for me let's go ahead and clarify the two of pentacles yeah see the high priestess is coming out like this in a 50 50 energy that's another one these cards and also the five of pentacles um, at the bottom of the deck so um, you being the balance to them, they are actually doing this with this high priestess coming out like this. I'm going to put it in reverse because it really comes out. Um, it's a sneaky way, you know, it's, it's the high priestess in reverse can also speak of someone being like a secret enemy, you know, toying with you and playing with your, your mind and your emotions in ways that are not beneficial for the both of you, but more so a one-sided thing like they are secretly doing this um because they need you to help them financially they're in debt they have bill collectors calling them they can't pay their bills um this right here with this five of pentacles also creating a secret enemy be careful this person could steal money from you this just doesn't feel really good for you gemini whoever this is the way that they're approaching this is all out of greed and money and you know i need i need i need and wanting to reconcile with you because of the fact that they're struggling financially that's no reason to get with somebody and that's just expect them to reach out to you. I do see you walking away from this situation that more so that eight of cups is you leaving after you realize that this isn't what you want anymore, that you once had love or love for this person, but it's time for you to move on to something better to that ninth cup of emotional fulfillment and more love of from people and love that you're creating around you where you're trying to do the right thing for yourself telling people that don't deserve you in their life no no thank you and moving forward to better yourself to create a better life for yourself this is all your hard work so why should you have to give it to somebody else you know so let's go ahead and get three messages plus one bonus message from this person on gemini's mind what are they holding back from telling gemini first thing so you and i were too young that's going to be their reason their excuse whatever that things didn't work out between the two of you you know i was just young i wasn't thinking about things clearly this way that way or the other but it's funny that they come back when they're struggling and if you ask them about you know it almost feels like they don't have anywhere to go or they're about to get kicked out or something so they need a place to stay so they're reaching out to you because it does feel like gemini you were someone to this person that always was there to help them out of a tough situation be there for them emotionally and you know physically supporting them in whatever way um financially supporting them in ways as well so i wish i had treated you better see how it's an afterthought you're not an afterthought so i'm just letting you know that i wish i had treated you there's a lot of i wish um and it's because of them going through things being turned upside down in their lives and not going as well as they had hoped at this point and going through a tough time they're now like oh, i should have treated gemini better and i feel like this is something they're also going to tell you um because when they come in with a lot of communication and messages gemini i do feel this is going to be one of them like i should have treated you better and i didn't this is their way to really try and gain um your trust and try to get you to open that door back up and let them into your heart so i wish things could be different there's a lot of i wish right i wish i wish i wish and you're not an afterthought so just remember that you know yeah they wish things could be different but they're not in this for the right reasons because they're not listening to their intuition about they need to figure things out for themselves rather they're looking to you and also you know creating a secret enemy um out of you by it, basically if you let this person back in your life and they disappear again or whatever the case may be 
um, or they could end up taking your money. It's just be careful, okay, because you've worked really hard to get where you're at. But this person is not creating the balance they need in their life on their own. They're seeking, you know, for someone else to help them out of a bind, and that's not right. You should not be somebody's fallback plan at all. So I'm grateful for the spiritual lesson. Um, I feel like once you walk away, it's going to open their eyes that they need to change something. That's a really tough thing, especially if this is someone that you love deeply and you don't want to see them struggle. But at the same time, you know that sometimes tough love has to be demonstrated in this way to make people see that they have to pull themselves out of situations and not rely on others to do it for them. Especially when it feels like you've given so much in the past and you were constantly bailing this person out of situations, paying for things, helping them with bills, whatever the case may be, you were always there for them. So I couldn't let you get close to me. That's something they're gonna still do. They're not going to allow you to get close to them for whatever reason. Um, that doesn't really come out here, but they won't let you get close to them but it feels like it's just material things that they need at this point. Um, I don't see any love here. I don't see a, I missed you, I love you, whatever. It does not come out as what they're wanting to tell you. It's more like excuses of why things didn't work out and I wish I had done this differently. Feels manipulative. And then being grateful for that spiritual lesson is going to be whenever you keep that door closed or you enlighten them by telling them something that they have to reflect on a spiritual lesson of why things worked out the way they did between the two of you. So this is what I have for you, Gemini. If it resonates, go ahead and hit that like button. I will see you in your next reading coming up. Have a good rest of your day. Bye.